Hello everyone, Joanne with StampingInTheValley.StampinUp.net and welcome to my craft room. It's time for the free card kits for September. And it's very simple to get free card kits from me, just place an order. It doesn't matter what size order that you place, I always send free card kits. But if you do place a $50 order prior to shipping, handling, and taxes for the first week of September, the 1st through the 7th, I'll send you a spool of the Real Red uh, Mini Ruffled Ribbon. Then from the 8th to the 15th, you'll get the gold holly leaves. Then the 16th to the 23rd, you'll get the white glittered organdy ribbon. From the 24th to the 30th, you'll get the brushed metallic adhesive back dots. Now, if you would like to have that list sent to your email, please click the show more button right here. And there is a link that you can sign up on my email list. And um, I will be happy to send that to you. <clears throat> but um, I will also be uh, advertising those specials every week on my videos. Uh, so it's very, very simple to get these kits. You just, you could also purchase the starter kit, which right now Stampin' Up! has the most wonderful special going on. Um, if you purchase the starter kit and join my team, it's $99 and you receive $125 worth of product plus then a free bundle from Stampin' Up. Let's talk about this for just a second. Um, I want to show you the list of the bundles that they will that you'll have to pick from is on sorry is on the very back page here of the celebration catalog the celebration catalog okay so here are the list right here of all of the bundles that you can pick from. So Stampin' Up! <clears throat> will um, send you a bundle. I, of course, will send you the free card kits. My team every month gets a free little gift from me. Um, sometimes it's paper, sometimes it's ribbon, sometimes it's uh, half a sheet of embellishments or dimensionals or something to craft with, something wonderful to use, some wonderful Stampin' Up! product to use. Um, and then they also uh, get my, any class that I do, my team gets a free video and PDF. They can order their own product and get their discount at 20 or 25 percent depending on where they're at with their sales. Uh, but if you join it first, of course, it's 20 percent off. Um, but I always send you any class that I do. So right now I have the Blackberry Beauty Suite class and the Red and White Merry Moments class going on. So as soon as I get the video and PDF up, I send everyone uh, a copy of that so that they can have the class also. Sometimes my classes are close to an hour and a half long um, and sometimes they've been two hours so uh, yeah so they they receive that and then um, every week I do a video for us on our uh, Facebook page called my happy crafting corner and uh, so I do a special video for them it depends on what card or what bundle I'm using that week I always stay within that uh, that uh, set that I'm using like this week I'm using the uh, Pretty Pumpkins. So they got a video, a special one for them that nobody else gets. Uh, I show the card on Sunday, but nobody gets the video for that one. And um, if you don't do social media, don't worry. I will send it to your email address that you provide when you when you sign up with Stampin' Up! under my with my team. Uh, I'll send you one personally to your email address. Everybody gets that video and everybody gets the class. Then we have a Zoom meeting every night. Uh, every night. <laughs> I wish every night. Um, then we have a Zoom meeting every month, once a month. And uh, so we get together and we craft and just have a good time. I call it a meeting, but it's really just us getting together and crafting. So I always love to do happy crafting. And um, and I enjoy my team. So I just wanted to tell you guys about that. But always remember, when you order now from uh, Stampin' Up! just till the end of September, it's just till the end of September, we have this wonderful celebration catalog. And there's items in here for when you order $50 in product and some items when you order $100 in product that you can pick from, like these uh, summer shadow dies. Uh, are just wonderful because they coordinate with a set in the uh, catalog, in the mini catalog. So that's wonderful, right? Um, so, uh, no, I'm sorry, it's not in the mini catalog. I was just looking. It's in the annual catalog. The Shaded Summer that this uh, coordinates with is in the annual catalog if you decide to get those dies. I can't wait to work with those. Uh, so, um, yeah, we have a lot of wonderful things going on. But... I sure would love to send you some free card kits. Also, 
my Paper Pumpkin team gets my free card kits. So if you sign up even with Paper Pumpkin with me, I'm going to send you the kits every month. And then uh, everybody also gets a card that you can reuse. Uh, I never write in it. I send you that so that you uh, have something another card that you can pass on to someone else or you might even want to use it yourself or you might want to use it for a class that you're having. So a lot of fun things going on here uh, in my craft room and I'd love to pass them on to you guys. I'll be back in just a moment and we're going to start to put one of these cards together. Okay, let's talk about this card because I combined a couple of things to get to this card, okay? I love the splatter with these leaves. This comes in the Gorgeous Leaves stamp set. Of course, any you're going to get this, and it's going to be a blank sheet. And so you can use whatever you'd like. I'm just showing you what I used. So I used this right here because I, I absolutely love splatter. Then this um, is from our stitched leaves. Remember this? Uh, this is a carryover. It actually uh, pairs with the Love of Leaves, and these leaves are stitched. And I, just, I love anything that's stitched, and especially if it's a leaf or a pine cone or something like that. So I put this leaf right here and I cut that out for you. Okay, so I'm going to do that for you. But I'm going to also send you the white leaf. I don't need all these white leaves and I'm sure that you guys, I know you guys will do something fantastic with this. So now each time that I cut this for you when you order, I'm going to be going through this paper stack right here of DSP. So each time it'll be like a different uh, color. And uh, if I run out of that, I'm going to go to the In Good Taste DSP. Uh, so I thought that was kind of fun. And then with the other card, I'll just show you. I use the uh, Beauty of Friendship because I know so many people ordered this when it first came out. It's time to use it because it's fall with that tree. It's just beautiful. So now the one that we're going to do today, this one right here, I uh, took my DSP and I did it this way. Okay. I'm going to also send you that extra piece of DSP. Uh, so that you can use it. I'm not going to cut it back though because I don't know if you really want to use your DSP like this or like that. And I know some of you are saying in your head, didn't I see this video? Well, you or didn't I see the other part, I should say, of this video? Because I had a very good friend, Mary, tell me, hey, where's the other card? I don't know what happened in the transfer of uploading things and uh, shuffling things around. This part never got put onto the first video. So yes, there was something up, but the video was wrong. So that's why I'm remaking it. <laughs> so, and the other card, if you kind of like, what color did she use? I used the bumblebee in the other card. See how nice that it looks when you come out into another color. And then I put my DSP down here. That's what we're going to do on this card. So that's, you know, so things happen, but, and I surely appreciate uh, uh, my friend Mary uh, writing, hey, where's the other card? I was like, oh no. So I thought I would just, I just deleted that video and then just started another one here. So let's go ahead and place this inside. Now this piece is, um, let's see, what is it? Yeah, two inches by five and a quarter. You know, so if you wanted to cut it back here, you could to go down. But again, because I just want to show you to do a little bit different, I'm going to use the entire piece, put it down here, and leave a nice white border around it. I'm going to put this in the card first so that I know where to stamp. Okay. Leave a nice little border there. That looks nice. Okay, now... I, now I have shaded spruce. Of course, this is uh, Mary Merlot. And I'm going to use the Thinking of You. And this is from The Beauty of Friendship. I'm going to put that up here. This one I'm going to do just a little bit different. I'm going to fold that back. Put the Thinking of You up here. Wonderful. And now over here, I'm going to use my splatter. And I'm going to go into the shaded spruce. Woo, sorry. Sorry and get a piece of scrap paper, stamp it off, okay, to get the second generation of ink, and I'm going to stamp it right here. So it's just a little lighter. Now I'm going to bring my little leaves in here in shaded spruce, full strength, and come across like that. Isn't that fantastic? I love a splatter because, you know, you could stamp it off a couple of times and even get a few um, nice shades of color. 
let's do our envelope because that's exactly what we're going to do on the envelope of this one. And like I said, your kit comes blank. So this is just what I do. You, of course, can use anything you'd like. Look how fast that makes that envelope kind of cute, right? So we'll stamp off. And then right there. Perfect. Love it. Love it, love it. Okay. Now, on the outside of the card, let me move this aside, we have our DSP. And again, I'm going to just send you this leaf so you can uh, use it for another project. But look how pretty this is. that's going to look, right? And that's the shaded spruce. I'll show you all the colors when we're done here because they just really going to look great together. Friendship Refreshes the Soul is what we're going to stamp. Let me get my foam mat because now I'm going to switch to photopolymer. So, Friendship Refreshes the Soul, we're going to stamp right down here. Full strength, shaded spruce. Love it. We're going to come back in with our splatter, put it up in the corner here, stamp it off, just like that. And then our leaves, full strength. Now we're going to take this and mount it onto this piece of DSP. I'll cut this for you. It's five and a quarter by four. You could use any kind of adhesive you'd like. If you do use liquid adhesive, um, get it down in this, you know, or even uh, runner, you know, adhesive. Get it down into those little points there so that they stick down nicely, especially when it goes in and out of the envelope. Okay? Just like that. Right here. That came out so pretty, right? Wow, I love that shaded spruce. It's a bluish green. It looks so nice. Lovely. Okay, now we're going to get our card base. And we've already finished. Oh, no, we haven't. Yes, we have. Oh, sorry. And we've already finished the inside of the card. I have my other card base over here ready to go for the next card. So, right here. And now you can either put this on with dimensionals or put it down with our Tombow. I'm going to put it down with Tombow. And here we go. Here's our first card. Isn't that so pretty? Look at that. Okay, so now here's Shaded Spruce. Let me move that out of the way. Shaded Spruce, Mary Merlot, and Bumblebee. They're all the same, the, the same exact card. But when you change the color, it just gives it a, a different look. Isn't that went fantastic? Wow, that came out so pretty. Okay, I'll be back in just a second. We'll put the next card together. Okay, here's the second card. I absolutely love this tree. Now, if you have this set, oh, because I know so many people ordered this when it came out, um, there are dies in here that you can even put something over top of this if you want to. Like, use my um, free card kits as your base and elaborate from there. But this is fun. This uh, and is a great fall set. So we're going to be using that. Okay, so with this card, I'll, I'll cut this for you, the little um, where you put your sentiment. Again, nothing is stamped. That's a rule by stamping up. You can stamp any image you have, but of course, if you have this set, you might want to use it. I'm going to do the thinking of you right here. Beautiful. Move that aside. And now I'm going to bring in the card base. And let's open this up. And I will move this um, foam mat in now. And we're going to do Friendship Refreshes the Soul in Evening Evergreen. Right down here at the bottom of the card. This way you have a nice place to write any type of sentiment that you like. Again, I'm going to bring in some scrap paper and I'm going to put this down here. And I want to woo, I want to go ahead and <laughs> move the ink out of the way so I don't get the corner of the card into the ink. Now the tree right here in crumb cake, and I don't want a really tall tree. So I'm going to just kind of shorten it a little bit. Just like that. Isn't that cool? So really this tree, you have many, many different um, uh, lengths with it. Let's go ahead and do the envelope while we're at it. And I'll put this under it also. 
and right here. And again, I'm just going to, I'm not going to use the whole tree. Cute, right? Fold that out. And right there. Wonderful. I just did this in crumb cake. Of course, if you wanted to, you could do it in evening evergreen. Whatever you'd like. The sky's the limit. Let's go ahead and put this down. Now, this uh, piece is evening evergreen, and it's embossed. Look at that embossing in there. Wow. That's the timber embossing folder. That, that looks wonderful. And um, let me show you something about that real quick, if you have it. You know, your immediate eye would want to put this in like this, okay? And then your, which I don't think it really matters, the wood grain would be going this way, but I wanted the wood grain long. So I put it in like this, and then use this line right here to line your paper up. That's what that's for. It's just not to show the Stampin' Up! logo and make it pretty. It's to help you also to line things up straight. So I put this one in this way, okay? And I just came out with that beautiful, beautiful embossed piece. Let's go ahead. And you could use the deboss side or the emboss side, you know, where it's raised or where it's lowered. Doesn't matter. It's both sides are just beautiful of this piece. Right here. Just like that. And this is five and a quarter by four. I am so glad. My uh, little friend there that wa that watches my channel and everything, I'm so glad she made a comment that I didn't have the other video on here. I would have never known. I would have seriously never known. I don't know what happened. It was taped, um, and I know that I was that I had it going. But I don't know if it accident I accidentally deleted it or it had to be my error. It just had to be. So here I'm just applying some Tombow to these tips right here. Just kind of putting them out there and then to the trunk of this tree. I'm going to kind of put it to the left a little bit. Just like so. I'm just going to hold it down for just a second. Let all the little branches take hold. There we go. Cute. And Tombow dries clear. This is also a really good uh, piece to put on with the um, adhesive sheets. Make a big sticker out of it and just stick it right on there. Now this piece is skinny so I'm going to use these little uh, sides of the dimensionals. Just little pieces really through here. But I do want to pop this up. Of course if you wanted to you could glue it flat down. I put thinking of you. Now kind of to the right, where this is to the left, just a little bit to the right, but over that trunk. Just so it offsets. Now, of course, you can embellish any way that you'd like or add to it if you have the set, because um, some leaves on top of that tree would look also wonderful, right? Here are definitely the two card kits for the free card kits for this month. Isn't that wonderful? Let me get all my cards out here. I love to display them. <laughs> After I fix them, I like to put them out and look at them. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you guys do the same thing. Do you look at your cards after you make them? I I'm like, oh, that one came out really pretty. Here's this one. That's in Mary Merlot. This one is in um, Shaded Spruce. And this one is in Bumblebee. So like with this design, you're just going to get a different piece of DSP. Okay. This one you'll get the same. It'll always look the same. But this one you get different pieces of DSP here. Just one card. So you get two free card kits and um, with envelopes. And uh, when I go through that stack of DSP, then I'll move on to the In Good Taste. And it'll always look fantastic behind here. Always, always will look fantastic behind there. Because it's just that die. You know, it's kind of an optical illusion where it's like, is the leaf on top of the white paper or is it behind? You know, the way, the way that you look at it. But I love the stitching. I like anything stitched. So, well, who doesn't, right? Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching. And um, thank you, thank you, uh, Mary. I really, really appreciate you telling me that there was something wrong with the video. I can't thank you enough for that. 
Um, so again, everyone, let's all get together and do some happy crafting and uh, go to your happy space and create some cards. Thanks again for watching.